Hello everybody, my name is Chrissy and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to be checking out season 12 of Rocket League. Season 12 is now live on all platforms. Um, it's like a Tokyo overhaul glitch themed season. It looks pretty cool. The visuals look pretty cool. We're going to be checking out the new car, the Porsche 911 Turbo, the new map, which is Neo Tokyo Hacked Arena. It looks pretty sick, honestly. It kind of looks like a Rocket Labs map. I'm just going to give you guys my honest, unfiltered thoughts. Yeah, let's jump right into it. If you like videos like these, please give the video a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel. Okay, guys, we are going to check out the new map. Um, first thoughts, I know people are going to say it's dark. I can already, I can already hear those comments coming um because yeah there's not a lot going on outside the map because obviously the theme is that it's hacked so everything is dark which makes it feel um kind of empty in the background yeah but let's look what happens i know when we score um we get this little glitchy guy up here which i think is really really cool um Let's see what else comes up. All these like buildings on the orange side light up as well when you score, which I think is really cool. So I'm in a private match now, and when you score on blue team, you also get this uh, glitchy light up. So you get the glitchy light up for whatever team scores, which is pretty cool, I think. Um, I am a big fan, big fan of that. Yeah, I don't know. At the end of the day, it's another reskin, so I wasn't expecting too much from the map, but I think it looks nice. Um, I don't think it looks too dark now that I'm playing in a private match. Like, I'm not really thinking much about it. So yeah, you guys will have to let me know your thoughts on the map. Do you think it's too dark? Do you think it needs more neon signs in the background? I do understand that everything is hacked. You know what would be really cool, though, is if, like, everything was light up, but then when you scored, like, the map went dark. That would be sick. But that's pretty hindsight. <laughs> But you guys let me know your thoughts in the comments. I'm very curious to see what people think. Oh, hi, Mia. It's time to check out the season rewards from season 11. So we got our grand champ boost. Champ. Diamond. Plat. Not a fan of the noise. Gold. Gold is not bad. I feel like gold rewards are always like the most wearable for me. <laughs> Or silver. Um, and then bronze, of course. So at least the rank logos aren't shooting out of your exhaust, you know. That is a plus. Um, I think people will use these boosts, actually. They don't make crazy noises. They don't look crazy. I, I, think, I think people will actually use them. This is the Grand Champ. The noise is like a little... Sounds a little like sparkles. All right, so I went ahead and bought the Rocket Pass Premium so that you don't have to if you don't want to. Um, as soon as I purchased it, I get the Porsche 911 wheels as well as the Porsche 911 Turbo Body. I'm going to equip that. Um, she's cute. I can't lie. She She's pretty cute, but this is a Dominus hitbox, which I know a lot of people were surprised about because it just looks so small to be a Dominus. Um, and pictures at least now that i'm looking at it, it does look a little bit longer than i imagined but let's take a look at the um premium and free tiers of the rocket pass of course you first you get the porsche car um and then you get an ombre decal for the porsche uh data driven um banner force flux rocket boost party xp boost and then you get a zero day player banner which i actually really really like um then an uncommon drop intercooler limited time wheels you guys know how i feel about wheels i'm always gonna wear my my black wheels all right so um a keyboard paint finish that would be good for the keyboard warriors then we got hacktivist title tinfoil hat topper burning decal not bad not bad XP boost, and then obviously PC, we got Karen from Spongebob. Um, then Orwellian wheels, 
breakout combed out decal pretty cool if you play breakout not bad um and then limited avatar border i didn't even notice the difference <laughs> that's pretty cool it's like a little little tv or computer screen um the crt limited avatar border then we move on to chicken bot antenna i can definitely see some people using those another uncommon drop then you get a oh this is a really nice decal the porsche 911 turbo porsche 75th anniversary limited decal i actually really really like that that's very cute um fully encrypted title and then a super sick player banner the porsche 911 player banner interchiller wheels firewall limited trail it's kind of cool um another uncommon drop and then we're gonna move on to tier 21 <clears throat> you have a player anthem which i'm not gonna play on youtube just in case not really sure uh, if it's copyright safe or not but if you want to listen you can go in game and listen to it um hacked halo topper that's actually uh, uh, i like that is it just me i think that's pretty cool for like a you know i don't wear toppers but for a topper i think it's cool a braid brigade border xp boost 100 credits onto orwellian inverted wheels um a tier 26 we got the paladin Vir virgil decal if you play paladin any paladin enjoyers um 27 eggshells excelsior antenna then we got roadhog heart hog decal a little piggy on the top that's kind of cute um a tatsu banner i like that or sorry border tatsu border obsolete for <clears throat> obsolete version player title onto omnicron wheels and then another uncommon drop triumph boost that is something else if my opponent is wearing that i'm gonna be very angry in the lobby <laughs> I can't even lie. Oh, we got a 5% XP boost. And then the boo boo. Is that a band aid? Boo boo banner? Or. Oh, it is a band aid. A boo boo antenna. That's kind of cute. With the sad strawberries. Um, a bellisk topper. Not sure what that is. Bug, bug bastic decal for the roadhog. Love a good roadhog decal. And then. You can get the Porsche 911 Turbo RLE, which is a limited body, a variation of the Porsche. That's actually super, super sick. Um, and then we move on to another uncommon drop and then some credits. Then the Gigahertz wheels. The front and the back wheels are different. That's pretty cool. A Dominus decal, Dominus midline. That's actually a very solid Dominus decal. I know there's some Dominus mains still out there, so you should definitely look into this decal. Bad B antenna, XP boost, uncommon drop, and then we have a pixel burn banner, which I am a fan of for sure. Um, infosec trail. It's kind of a nice trail. Virus goal explosion. Ooh. Uh, Wait, that's so cool. Oh, I love that. I love a good goal explosion. That's pretty sick. Then a zero day topper. I, I do like these holographic toppers. It's kind of cool. Cross sword paint finish. Oh, crossword. I thought I said cross sword. <laughs> crossword paint finish is crazy. Then on to bubble cloth. That is... Uh, it's literally bubble wrap. Very interesting. Dominus fire starter decal. Another Dominus decal. Dominus mains getting spoiled. Move on to a rare drop and then Avatrack border. Avatar border. Punk metal antenna. 100 credits and then hollow drone wheels. Looks very techy. Kind of looks like a CD right there. Firewall boost. Sounds very like hacker, hacker vibes. 
um, and then an XP boost and a rare drop. Moving on to tier 51, we have a Broad Bolt Limited Trail, Omnicron Holographic Wheels, Ochazook Limited Animated Decal. So nice animated decal here. Kind of looks like a lava lamp. Um, then an engine sound, cryptic engine audio. That is giving me cat, cat engine noise vibes. Like it's just gonna be very annoying <laughs> if your opponent's using that. Um, Huntress decal for the Porsche, very nice. Monzonic wheels. Those aren't bad. I, I love wheels that are like black or gray. I, I'm a big fan of wheels like that because they're just like low key, you know, wearable. We want wearable wheels. I don't want purple wheels on my on my Fennec, okay? Um, if you do, that's fine. I'm just saying that's my preference. <laughs> um, low bit paint finish, XP boost, SCN LN decal. Wow checkerboarded like decal looking animated vibes um and then we move on to 100 credits a rare drop and then infosec boost we got a bob's ramen theme which i won't play on stream just for copyright purposes um a nice contagion player banner. That's pretty cool. Interchiller radiant wheels. Uh, Merc snakeskin. Interesting. Then a very rare drop. Moving on to tier 66, you get a 5% XP boost, 100 credits. And then a JPEGI decal. Very, very nice. Lots of good animated decals in this uh, rocket pass. Intercooler inverted wheels. Ooh, tier 70 has a super, super cool goal explosion. Zero's world. That is sick. That's one of those that changes the whole map when you score. That's super cool. Big fan of that. Would love to see some painted versions of that as well. Uh, purple infosec boost. Then gray JPEGI decal. Crimson Manzonic wheels. Burnt Sienna Firewall Trail. We're getting into the painted items now. Uh, Broad Bolt. Oops. Broad Bolt. Limited Trail. Um, On to Interchiller Radiant in Lime. The Porsche in Orange. Excuse my cats. They're running all over. Omnicron uh, in Purple. The Porsche in Purple. Very cute. Looks kind of pink down here. Then another 100 credits and a rare, very rare drop. Um, Burnt Sienna SCN LN decal. Checkerboard one. Then a Cobalt Infosec Trail. Um, virus and Burnt Sienna. That's actually still very cute for Burnt Sienna. Burnt Sienna is probably one of my least favorite colors of painted items, but that looks nice. Pink intercooler inverted wheels, then a purple zeros world goal explosion. I might have to equip that when I get to tier 85. That is very nice. Big fan. Um, as much as I don't wear the wheels and the decals and the boosts in this game, based like from the rocket passes, I always love the goal explosions. They do a great job on the goal explosions. Okay, that boost is very annoying. Sorry. <laughs> Orwellian inverted wheels and then we got some saffron gigahertz wheels some forest green broad bolt trail and then another hundred credits a very rare drop and then moving on to 91 through 100 a scn ln lime animated decal firewall in sky blue porsche in pink um another firewall in burnt sienna Titanium white JPEGI, very cute, very cute. Uh, not with these car colors, but you know. Orange Infosec Trail, titanium white Manzonic wheels. Those are actually really nice. Would wear those for sure. And then we move to 
sky blue Orwellian wheels, lime virus, very cute. And then lastly, 100 credits and a very rare drop for tier 100. Overall, um, I never usually wear rocket pass items besides gold explosions. Sometimes wheels, if they're, like I said, if they're toned down. Um, but I think that rocket pass looked, looked pretty good. Um, just off my first impressions. Like, obviously a lot of items won't get used by the community, but there's a, there's sprinkles of very good items in there, so. Now I'm gonna try out the Porsche in free play, um, and let you guys know how it feels. Um, definitely not feeling like Dominus right away. Like, visually or just how I feel. I do not feel like I'm in a Dominus hitbox. Dominus hitbox is crazy for this car. Like, I would love to see a picture of, you know, this car lined up to the Dominus hitbox. Let's see, because it definitely feels smaller. Um, I will definitely play this car in ranked today. If I do any placements, for sure. But yeah, a big complaint in the Rocket League community right now is that we just have standardized hitboxes so every new car it's usually just shoved into one hitbox category or the other even if it doesn't necessarily match it um yeah i i feel really confused about this car right now because <laughs> i don't feel like i'm in a dominus quite but i also don't feel like it feels very long but not dominus long does that make sense I don't know if I would use this um, past the start of the new season because you guys know I am a Fennec slash Octane main, of course. Okay guys, so my final thoughts overall, I really do like the Rocket Pass. Obviously, there's a lot of items I wouldn't wear, but sprinkled in there are good items such as the Goal Explosion, some of the wheels, um, the season rewards aren't bad, the new car isn't bad. I'm, I'm really just like on the fence about a lot of it and I think I need more time to play with it and experience the new season to see my final, final, final thoughts. Um, but let me know what you guys think so far of the new season and if you like videos like this, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel.